thrives on athletics. And I realize she has to um, do better academically, but is there any way she could play any sports at the academy? Uh, I, well, here's the deal. So you got to play a sport at the Naval Academy. So you got to do either intramurals or varsity athletics. I would say this, like you probably can go sail. If you're sailing around Rhode Island, you're in good sailing. So you could probably go sail. Uh, you may be able to walk on the volleyball team. Um, she what's was, your other sport? Tennis? She, tennis, indoor track. Um, what do you, what's your event in track? The 200, no, sorry, the 300 meter. And then I also do long jump. Okay. What's your long jump? Uh, 15, I believe. Okay. So you about three and a half feet, four feet short on long jump. So like you probably could go do track. She can do any of that stuff at the service academy. She was also number three singles for tennis. Number three in high school, at your high school? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like tennis maybe, I don't know. I don't know how stacked the tennis deck is. Normally for the females at the Naval Academy, if they want to do varsity athletics, they can. I'm going to tell you this, with your daughter's academic acclimen, I'm not going to recommend she does any varsity sports. Okay, thank you. Okay, she can do, she can do all the intramurals she wants, because here's what I'm going to tell you. She ain't performing well enough now with all these sports she got on her table. Wait till you get to the Naval Academy and you in meetings and sports for six, seven hours a day and all the other classmates ain't doing nothing but study. Okay. It's just a different beast, man. It's a, diff it's a different animal at the Naval Academy. That's, that's valuable. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a, it's a different, it's a diff like Wilson Prefer was a big time baseball player and he was talking some nonsense about wanting to play baseball. My, my roommate was a baseball player our freshman year. He went to chemistry class, chemistry two, four times in the semester. That's hard, that's hard to get good grades when you ain't academically gifted. Okay. It is. It's, a, it's a struggle. I know. It's not even a struggle, but remember what I told you, Laura's going to be successful when she gets there. We're going to set her up for as much success as possible, and then we got corrective action for everything else. You know, Wilson going to tell you some stuff. You're going to have a great conversation with Wilson, Lord, because he's going to be like, look, man, you done called the wrong dude if you're not going to be serious and want to do well. So what I'm getting out of this is Laura's gone to the academy. Yeah, yeah, she should be fine. Whatever academy she goes to. Yeah, she should be fine. Like, I'm 100% getting people in the Naval Academy. Or, let me say this, I'm 100% getting people in the service academy. 100%. <laughs>